What's up you guys, it's Jono! I'm gonna do a little bit of Pokemon management here. That involves transferring my Pokemon. Now the only way that you can really transfer your Pokemon right now is to the Professor. So you have to go on that Pokemon and scroll all the way down. It'll show where you got him and all kinds of interesting stuff about him. And then you can transfer him. So it says if you can't take it back after it's transferred to the Professor, do you really want to transfer Mankey to the Professor? And I'm going to say yes because I have a stronger Mankey. And it says up there very quickly at the top, transfer seated, you received a Mankey candy. So that candy is really important because I'm going to use that candy to uh, level up my other Mankey. So let's go see my other Mankey. He's here. He's a 101. And I believe I do have one more Mankey. He's a 113 up there at the top right. And then I've got an 82 Mankey, and I've got a 103 Mankey. So I picked up a bunch of Mankeys, and I'm going to trade in my Mankeys, all of them except my strongest. I'm just going to let them go and keep the candy. Now that one is a Mankey that I have got assigned to a gym right now. That's why he's got that, uh, that lightning bolt up there at the top left of the screen. So I am not able to trade him in, but he's pretty strong anyway, so I don't want to trade him in. That's fine. And I'll go ahead and trade in the other ones that I've got and take those pieces of candy. You can see the notification at the top of the screen about the candy. So it's really hard to see it. It goes really quickly, but it is at the top of the screen. Got a Mankey candy from the professor. So that's important because I'll use those Mankey candies to level up my Mankeys. So let me see if I can actually level up my Mankey right now. I want to try to level up the one that is assigned. I lost track of him. Where's Mankey? There he is. Let's see if I can power him up. Nope, I cannot power him up because he's assigned to a gym. So I can only power up the Mankey that I've got right here. And that Mankey is actually pretty strong. So I want to I want to power him up. But he also costs a lot to power him up. So I'm not sure. I'm going to have to think about that. 600 of my Stardust is a lot of Stardust to give up. So I'm going to have to think really hard about that. In the meantime, I know that I've got some other Pokemon that I can transfer. So let's go ahead and transfer them. I've got an Ekans that is 52. I can transfer him. I caught a lot of Pokemon. A ton of Pokemon while I was out. So I've got a lot to transfer. So this is part of Pokemon management. Just making sure that I get rid of Pokemon that I don't plan to use and trade them in for the useful candy. I've got quite a few Pidgeys. Quite a few Pidgeys today. It would be nice to be able to bulk transfer them instead of one at a time. So I'll probably start to get a little bit faster at this. Now keep in mind that I picked up a candy for every one of these Pidgeys. That's why I've got 73 Pidgey candy already. And then I'm getting another candy for trading them back to the Professor. So that's kind of cool. That's two candies per Pokemon after the initial capture. I picked up a couple of Ponitas while I was out. And I got a lot of Pidgeys today. Pidgey was probably the one that I saw the most. It makes sense because you see Pokemon based on your terrain type. So I'm in a city, so I'm getting a lot of birds. I'm getting a lot of rats. I'm getting a lot of bugs. And I'm getting some high-level Pokemon as well. Some fighters. I'm getting some poison-type Pokemon. Actually, I picked up 10 poison Pokemon and got the medal for that. 
So those are the type of Pokemon that I would expect to find in a city. And then I'm hoping when I get out into the countryside or out on a hike in the forest or something, I'll find some more interesting Pokemon for the forest. And I'm really excited to get close to a beach and find some water Pokemon and possibly even get a Gyarados. So I'm really, really excited about that. Next time I'm at the beach, I'm going to have to do some videos and show you guys the water Pokemon that come out. I did pick up a Pikachu earlier. That was pretty good. Pikachu I was excited about. What else was I excited about? I was excited about Rhyhorn. I was really excited about Rhyhorn. He's strong. Oh, well, a friend of mine is going Pokemon hunting later. I may have to join him. Alright, so this is why I do the Pokemon management, you guys. It's very important, you know. I'm about to go pick up probably another 20 or 30 more Pokemon, and I haven't even dealt with the Pokemon that I picked up earlier. So it's good to get through your Pokemon, make sure you're not hanging on to a bunch of Pokemon that you're not going to use. Like this Pidgey has a CP of 10, and as far as I know right now, there's no point in keeping a Pidgey with a CP of 10 when I have a Pidgey with a CP of 91. So, that's definitely the logic I'm using now. Um, if you remember in the original Pokemon games, you could take a low... <clears throat> you could take a low-level Pokemon and then make it a higher-level Pokemon, and there was value in doing that. But, um, I haven't necessarily found that to be the case I haven't played enough to be able to see if that's the case in this game, so I'm only speculating as to whether or not that's possible, and that was something that my brother brought up to me, because he's actually like an old school Pokemon master. So, something to, to look out for, maybe taking like one of these 10 Pidgeys instead of a 93 Pidgey and then leveling up from there could be beneficial. I'm not really sure how, but maybe. So, I think that that's some interesting food for thought. I did pick up a lot of Pidgeys. I could probably evolve my Pidgey. I'm going to have to do some level ups on my Pidgey and then evolve them because I've got all these candies. I'm not really sure. Like, if I have more candies than I plan to use, I don't really know what the point of having all the extra candies is or if I can trade them for something else or what. So, eventually it may get to the point where I have a lot of candies that I don't even plan to use. I'm getting down pretty low now. I'm starting to have to look a little bit closer for my doubles. I have two Ponitas. One is a 19 and one is a 20. So I'm going to trade in my Ponita here. I was really excited about that Ponita, but it's actually not very strong, so I think I'll have to wait until I evolve it to get any use out of it. I picked up quite a few of these Paras. Get rid of those. I picked up a Vulpix. I'm actually really excited about the Vulpix. I should probably level up the Vulpix. I wish they called it level up instead of power up. I don't really like power up as a way of saying that I'm leveling up. And I think that level up is just more intuitive. That's just how you say it. So I'm not really happy with that choice from the Pokemon team. I don't know if that's the way they said it in the original games or what. But to me, 
It just doesn't feel right. I prefer to say level up, but I am going to respect the game terminology and I will say power up like for the names of my videos and stuff like that. But I got to say I don't really like it. So I have a Night Oran that's 147. <coughs> you want to no. Okay, fine. In a cup? Thank you. So many Pidgeys! Starting to get through them, finally. Now I'm wondering if I have a Pidgey candy, can I level up... Oh yeah, I can level up my Pidgeotto with my Pidgey candy, so that's pretty cool. Now I picked up this Pidgeotto, and he's only CP49, and I'm probably going to take this Pidgey who's a CP93 and level him up and then I'll uh, well let's see is it less expensive to level up yeah it's less expensive to level up this Pidgeotto than it is to level up this Pidgey so it's kind of interesting how that works I don't really understand exactly how that works it must be the more CP than the more you have to pay in Stardust so that's kind of interesting I have a Paras that is 186, and I have a Paras that is 163, so I can get rid of pretty much every other Paras. Those two are very strong. So if I see any more Paras, they can go. Vino Nat, I've got a couple of them. I think I am going to level up that Pidgey and evolve him. So let's see, I got a Pidgey. I'll get rid of a couple more of these Pidgeys, I just have so many of them. Alright, any more Pidgeys? Yes. Oh, there's a 143 Pidgey. That's probably the one I'll have to level up. So 143 Pidgey. And then I have got the Pidgeotto. Should I trade him in? And what do I get for him? A Pidgey Candy. So that's interesting. Pidgey Candy for the Pidgeotto. And I level up the Pidgeotto with the Pidgey Candy. So let's go ahead and upgrade this Pidgey. Oh, it's going to cost me a thousand to level up this Pidgey. That's crazy. Alright, so he's a 151 now. I mean, I can basically take this Pidgey pretty high. And then evolve him. I don't know how high. Well, let's see. I think I can max him out. Let's go ahead and max him out. Because you see that bar up at the top. That bar up at the top is getting closer and closer to the edge. I don't know what it's going to take to max him out. I can't power him up anymore. Trainer level is too low to power up, so I'm not high enough level to power up my Pidgey any further. So that's actually really, really interesting. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to learn more about the game dynamics and how this all works. So that's all stuff that factors in. I need to level up a little bit more before I'm going to be able to max out my dude, my Pidgey. So I don't want to evolve him if I'm not going to max him out. But I actually would like to evolve him just to show the evolution, and he's really close to max. So let's go ahead and do it. I'd like to see the animations. I knew it was going to be cool. Oh, watch him go! Yes! 
Evolve him. Yeah. All right, now that is cool. Pidgeotto, CP of 318. Oh, and wow, the bar didn't go back down. See that bar up at the top? I thought that bar was going to go back down. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm wondering if I could just evolve him again. I'm just going to evolve him again, just for fun. And let's go ahead and see what the next evolution looks like. Now that is cool. Yes. Yeah, registered to Pokedex, new Pokemon. Nice, so that's a cool way to unlock Pokemon. I think, did it give me? Wow, he's got some strong attacks too. That is nice. He's got a CP of 563. Wow, that's gonna be my battle boy right there. Dang. All right, so I've got some pretty good paras. I kind of want to level up these paras as well. I can't evolve him though. I want to do some stuff that I can evolve right now. I don't have enough Ekans candy. What else did I pick up a lot? Rattata. I do have enough of Rattata's candy. So let's level up. Well, I want to make sure I do the right Rattata. That one's a 68. I got a 78, so let's get rid of him. Rattata, Rattata. That's a 37. Get rid of him. Okay. So that's all my Rattatas. I got a 78 Rattata. I'm gonna power him up. Oh yeah, he's ferocious. Okay. Just keep on powering him up. All right, now I'm gonna evolve him. He's gonna go from CP 92. I wanna see if he gets a bonus in CP from evolving. So let's see if there's any change. Wow, cool. Oh yeah. Registered to Pokedex. Radicate. All right. So CP 248, yeah, I would say that he definitely got a bump in his CP. So if you want to increase your power on some troops and maybe just leave them at a gym, definitely evolve them and then uh, they'll get a lot stronger. He went from 93 to 248, so that's a pretty big increase. I'm really happy with that. All right, so I wonder if I've got anybody else I can really get rid of. I've got Cubone here. Gonna get rid of Cubone. Got another Cubone. Let's get rid of him. That Growlithe is like so weak. So I don't really think I'm gonna keep him, but I'll hang on to him. Some of these lower level guys, like look at this, he's a Caterpie, and he's CP44, but he's always, he's already halfway across the bar, versus, like let's go find a weaker Caterpie, did I get rid of them all? Yeah, I did, like I've got this Spiro that's a 10, and he is only a little bit across the bar on the left there, so... It's interesting. I wonder if there is some logic to taking the lower ones, like the ones who have the lowest hit points, and then leveling them up higher. Like this Growlithe, he's all the way on the very bottom, like that bar up at the top. 
it's all the way on the left. So I wonder if he would max out higher than some of these guys who are already pretty far across, like halfway. So that's interesting. I got to think about that and I'm going to have to find out more about that. All right, you guys, so that's going to be the end of my video. I'm done managing my Pokemon. I got down to a pretty manageable amount of Pokemon here. Um, I do have a couple more that I could get rid of, but it's not so bad as it was when I first got started. I had a whole lot of Pokemon at the beginning of this video, and I've got them combined down pretty good now. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to all the people who continue to watch my Pokemon videos. I'm having a lot of fun playing Pokemon, and there's a lot of people that are playing as well. So uh, it seems like the whole phenomenon has gone global, and everybody is playing. It's really exciting. So thanks again, everybody. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on another video very soon. Peace.